it was it was difficult. Um, but like the fi the final boss in that game. Ah! Shit! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I got on this now. I got his number. All right, you better. Hey buddies, uh, welcome back to Chris and Andy Play, my name is Chris. I'm Andy. Today we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog, it's for a Sega Genesis, we're not playing it on there, so whatever. Playing the PlayStation 2 Genesis Classic. Yeah, because if you've been watching us, you know we have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not to say that I don't have, act I actually have two parts of this, <laughs> and three, three Genesis. I have, uh, I have uh, a Mark 1 and uh, two Mark, sorry, a Mark 2 and two Mark 3s. You know, something something strange about this collection is just like there are a lot of like legitimately good games on yeah. it, but there are some games where it just like it, it it really pushes the boundaries of what a classic is. Like some of these games are like I've never even heard of this, mm. and it sucks. Why is it on here? Just because I got it. Oh, that was good. You did I didn't it. even get. I got hit. Yeah. I lost my shield. But That's yay. Good um, okay, I was gonna say what I love in an RPG is when they give you multiple things to raise. Like if you just have levels, it's like mm -hmm. it's fine, whatever. But if you have levels like uh, Final Fantasy V had yeah. like the jobs, and six had the espers, which is like your materia and your magic, and, yeah. and seven had materia, and eight had the draw system. And yeah, GFs. I guess I guess that didn't really have anything. Oh yeah, the GFs. Yeah. That's what you leveled. They had the GF the water stage. They had GFs, and nine had the skill system. And like, I, I love things like that where you're not just grinding experience. There's like more to yes. it. So it's just yes, like absolutely. So it's like levels aren't necessarily the most important yeah. thing like there's there's a lot more to it you can be low level but just have that right skill so like um mm -hmm. what the hell game are you talking about star ocean yes i like that star ocean had a lot of skills and oh it's just my like God. yeah well, the difference of just like i'm very weak it's just like oh if i level like my cooking skills my strength went up 100 points you know and like now yeah, i'm strong yeah. and then then it's you cool. use your cooking skills to like give them their favorite stuff there's so much going on in that game it's amazing there's a wicked crafting system there's like there's the what? What? skill system where basically, in order to get the skills, you have to go buy the books from like the towns of every place you go, and then every level you get, you get skill points which you can allocate. Depending on what skills you put together, will like give you different abilities that you use. So like, if you have, uh, there's three different music skills, like okay. you know, and if you have each one on multiple characters, you can then activate the team skill of like orchestra which <laughs> yeah. will then play a song which will buff you it's it's just so awesome oh i love do you remember well yeah you played the you got the, you played the psp star ocean one but um yes. the songs that would like summon monsters you can yeah. fight like super strong shit and get like crazy op like very early in the game yeah yeah uh so this is as far as i've ever seen in sonic i don't know which act but i know i've seen down. i've seen the first i've seen this but i've never Never beaten the water stage because it is it's annoying. Why doesn't he jump higher in water? Oh, he just jumps slower. Yeah. Which is kind of true, I guess. Oh, yeah, totally. But, I mean, well, no, why isn't there a little bit of swimming mixed in with this jump? Because he doesn't jump. He doesn't swim. He Sonic sinks. Uh, it's like kind of what he's known for doing, sinking. How? Oh, wait, the platform's back. Okay, it was gone when, like, no! Or, Woo! <laughs> why do I keep reacting like that? <laughs> I don't know, but it's great. You know what it is? Okay, All I right. um when I play games by myself, yeah, totally. I don't make a sound. Yeah, like, I, I don't make a don't. I don't make a peep. When I'm playing games with other people, I make so much like noise. <laughs> like I don't necessarily <laughs> talk, but I'm just like mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I don't no, know what totally it is, but that. I just become like this different, oh. annoying person. Uh, it annoys me. Like I catch myself doing it. I'm just like, oh god, this oh, person must cool. they must hate it's me. It's cool. I'm down with it, man. All right. Oh, like I'm like that at. Uh, like I, I go over to my buddy's place regularly to like this gonna catch up on some fighters and stuff because Andy and I don't fight. Like, uh, Andy's not a big uh, fighter game kind of guy. Yeah, I told you I would. Well, yeah, I know, I know you would, but like, you don't want to like. It's different playing for here and like just playing because we want to play. Well, I play some games. Yeah, I, I would play. That. Remember, we used to play Smash Bros. all the time. Yeah, I don't consider that. Like, it's it's it eh. is a fighter, but it's not like it's not like a fighter. Did I just get a checkpoint? Is that what that was? Maybe I don't know. I don't. Was, no. No, it, you didn't. Oh, not. Jesus. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I hate yeah. this game. Yeah, I know, man. I've been playing for like 20 minutes and no checkpoint. Yeah. That was about 20 minutes, yeah. Sure, why not? Give me the ring. It's gone now. It's gone now forever. Yeah, it is. He's going to jump. Um, no, you're good. You're good, maybe. Hey, what were you talking about? <sighs> I don't know, man. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, fighting. Yeah, fighters. like, I, so I, I go over my buddy. Oh, yeah, so 
I played Lethal League for the first time. Like yeah. what, that was like that was like two months ago or something. Lethal League is that awesome. was really fun. Yeah. Oh man, I liked it a lot. Oh, that was great. totally cool. And like when oh, we got to like the was it like million miles per yes. hour or whatever. Like, yes. That was so cool. Yeah. Uh, Lethal League is an amazing fighter. It is very different, as in like Smash is different. Very Smash oriented. It's very good. And uh, I, I suggest everybody who likes fighters, like if you like versus, you gotta play it. At least try it out. It's awesome. I, I don't honestly. It was, is I was expecting to not like it. Yeah. Like I thought we were gonna play it, and I was gonna be like, yeah, it's all right, whatever. Yeah. Like, I guess I'll play it because no. that's what the group's doing, and well, I don't wanna. It, no, it has that. But it I has that vibe it. where you're like, I don't know about this. That's the worst part about the stage. You know, it's kind of funny that he can actually hold his breath for a very realistic amount of time. Mm -hmm. Like, that, I'd probably die that quickly. I, I can't, I can't yeah. hold my breath very long. Yeah. So, so yeah, I go over to their like this place regularly, and I get to hang out with some buds, and we play some fighter games on a regular basis. But I definitely like I don't I don't do this kind of commentating there because like what's the point? I mean, I I mean I do I do I like, but I notice how I don't I don't, I don't make my friends laugh. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Do I need that yeah. switch? Uh, maybe. Yes, of course I do. Of course you need it. Just, that's, that's the more annoying thing to do. <laughs> I, I totally remember this now. I remember this being the bane of my goddamn existence. I need to, like, jump and jump! Oh, God, and the spikes are there, too. Wait, can I just jump straight up and, yeah, you and can. land on it? I think so. Oh, okay, that, that's nice. Yeah, it's that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Uh, so, yeah, like, I Whoa, just... Whoa, what was that? What was happening? I don't know. It's just some emulation. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I notice how loud I get. Yeah. Like, like I wait with them. Yeah. Okay. Like there are times where I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> like, like constantly, like, and I don't, I don't feel like that used to be me, but I know well, it yeah, totally you, is. You did not, you never got that loud because remember we used to play Smash Brothers like, oh yeah, three hours a day, like every day. Oh yes. Um, but that like, was the thing. even like, whether it was just me or or like other people were there, yeah, you never got really got that loud. I mean, you got kind of like animated if you were playing against Mike, mm. but you were. Oh, I just walked right into that. You totally walked right into that. That's what I was talking about off camera. Yeah. Screen, when I was talking about the timing just being weird, like I yeah. expected that to move, and it just didn't. Um. Yeah, well, because in a lot of games, you, yeah. you feel like you gotta go when it's on its down, right? This one, you gotta wait for it actually to be not dangerous anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of games where like you, your your timing is involved in it, like anticipating when it's not going to be dangerous rather than this actually okay it's dangerous or not dangerous yeah so yeah I, I just I find myself like a lot more animated and loud and because they, they, they live in a group apartment and we're often playing like late into the night because that's how we do uh, I'm often like worried that like I'm going to bother like either the neighbors or like somebody else sleeping because they're off shift or something and I'm just like oh man oh remember our, our apartment where we got like the noise complaint like almost every night oh, that people God, were over yeah. And that was mostly a DDR and well, friend rock band thing. Yes, but I think that it was more to do with how the apartment was built and our particular Get neighbor out of set. Here. Like we had, we had some really bad neighbors. Like we had one to the well, dude. Like, it's three a.m. and we're like banging on the wall, not banging on the walls, but we're banging on the, the floor, floor and drumming and yell, like yelling. I mean, come on, the guys got to work on them. Well, he was a dick, no, but we but, were loud. But they, so. they were like that, like all the time it didn't matter like if it was like in during the day i would still get like complaints at, like 7 30 in the morning i don't remember that no well i did I, I got a lot of complaints people did not like i'm so tired of living with people you mean living near people you didn't actually live with them yeah well it's some they feel like they're part of my business they're living with me <laughs> like that's how it goes like sometimes apartment living i'm finally like in a stage here i'm super excited about that like We've had, like, my bad neighbors, both of them, have moved out in the last, like, few months again. And I'm like, I don't have to, like, I, I realized the other day, I was like, I'm sitting down to have dinner. And I'm like, I don't have to be worried about some crazy person knocking on my door, asking for, like, the most insane things. Oh, that, that guy's gone? Oh, he's been gone for a while. But oh, cool. they've left, too. Were they bad? They were bad, were too. They bad? Yeah. Wait, were they the ones with the kids that were always screaming? Yeah. When did they move out? That was just, like, not that long ago yeah. that I was, like, no, yelling... No yelling things at them yeah no no that was like <laughs> but somebody else has moved in already and i think they've got kids as well they don't seem as bad okay. but they haven't bothered me any so i'm happy with that but i just i feel like finally i'm at a point in my life where i'm like yes i don't have to worry about somebody knocking on my door and like ruining my dinner because they need to call a hospital <laughs> uh, because somebody else fell on something sharp or something god it was terrible there was too many 
too many things going on. That one guy was insane. Give me the air. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, I always remember that sound in his face. There's a lot of oh, things yeah. I really do like about Sonic. I have a lot of fond memories of playing the game. I yeah. just don't think it's a great game. It's okay. Games. Well, I don't know. In some respects, that's kind of what makes a great game. And you know what else happens when you have great games and great fun? Episodes end. That's when it happens. That makes no sense at all. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I had to segue somehow. Bye. 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 All right. So earlier, uh, a couple episodes back, I posed a question, a, bi a bit of Sonic trivia. I don't know. He never answered and it. I, never, like a, I should have. Like, like, like a douche. Like a bitch. Like a, I, he, 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 yeah. Like a total D. <laughs> uh, I should <laughs> okay. 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 Hold on. I gotta. I gotta finish this thought process. Now, when I said D, I didn't mean like Dick. I meant like D from Always Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, oh my if, god, I love that show. If you Still watch Always Sunny, uh, then you totally know what's going on. Because I just <laughs> stupid bitch. <laughs> stupid bitch. <laughs>